Greeting friends, in today's video we will be taking a look at Pi-hole for ad blocking, installing the Pi-hole software on a Debian guest VM under QEMU KVM on a Linux uh, host operating system. So as we're going through the documentation here, you can see what the installation requirements are, what operating systems are installed as far as the hosting for Pi-hole. Debian is one of the supported systems. I chose Debian. It was easy to install, working well. Uh, I looked at Fedora, had a few issues with that. I'm sure that would work as well. Debian was the, the choice I, I made. Feel free to use whatever you want when you're doing your testing. Debian did, did work well for me. We've gone to the GitHub repository. We've cloned the repository to the guest operating system. And we are going through the process of the install script. A couple things you'll see in the pop-up windows here, uh, namely the static IP requirement. I did not set that ahead of time. I wanted to make sure you saw that. You do have to set a, a static IP to consistently use the, the pie hole in the manner intended that you point your the browsing systems to the pie hole as the DNS. And that's what we're going to be doing here in this next section. So to do that, we need to get the MAC address of the guest VM. We have that. We need to modify within the the virtual network environment. Here again, I'm using um, QEMU, and you install the the host MAC address. Host being actually referring to the the Debian guest and you assign it a static IP. So we're rebooting after making that changing, that change. We've made the change, we're rebooted, and now we are back into the guest operating system. And let's take a look at that install script again and see if we can get that uh, fully going this time. So we've confirmed that our IP address is set to the static IP that we implemented on the host for the virtual guest. And here we go with the install of the Pi-hole using the script. And this, again, this came from the GitHub repository. So you can update the, the code if, uh, if you so desire as changes are implemented. I'm choosing the defaults for all the settings within the installation. Feel free to choose a different set of DNS servers if you like. Don't think there are any right or wrong answers. It's up to you as far as your preferences and you know what, what you think is best for your environment. So I'll leave that totally up to you. I chose Google. That was the first and the default entry. Kind of speeding through the install steps here. And you'll want to make a note here. You've got the password and the URL to get into the Pi-hole dashboard. Uh, this will pop up in the uh, command line when you close up this window in case you uh, don't make a note of it. But the easiest thing to do is just to go directly into a browser on the the guest VM and go to the Pi-hole dashboard. This will essentially be your IP address with the admin at the back end and you'll need to type in the password that was provided at the end of the installation. got uh, the dashboard showing the number of blocked sites, the number of queries, and lots of things to explore here. We're just going to go over the, the surface 
uh, as far as what uh, what you can do with pie hole. You'll note in the, the shell that there is an option for changing the pie hole password. If you desire to do that or if you forget, there is a way a way out of that situation. So don't don't panic if you didn't note that password and, uh, and record that somewhere. What we have now is a second guest virtual machine on the same host machine. This particular one is a Raspbian install. I've changed the DNS entry for that system to point to the pie hole. And now we will confirm that that change is made. And yes, it is. So uh, it's using the pie hole DNS address. Uh, so let's start up a browser and see what pie hole can do for us. What you'll find is that ads will be blocked to a large degree. It may not catch everything. It depends on what list you're using for the ad blocking, what domains are being blocked. But it does a pretty good job and it will cut down on the number of ads you see, on the uh, network traffic. So lots of advantages to doing this. Keep in mind that there may be now and again issues as far as blocking of content that you do want to see. So you know, if, if in doubt, go in, check the logs, and you can make modifications to uh, tweak this a little bit and add additional blocking list if you like. Take away certain sites, whitelist certain sites. So it's, it's really up to you. You have a lot of flexibility here. And it, as you see, it's an easy install Certainly something worth taking a look at. If you find it works for you, great. You know, go ahead and apply it to whatever systems you'd like. You don't have to use it on every system. If you would like to, to use it for the entire network, what you would be best off doing probably is going to your router and changing the router settings to use the DNS for the Pi Hole, the Pi Hole IP address as your DNS and send that out via DHCP to all the systems on the network, assuming you're all in the same subnet. So, you know, depends on your situation, but that, that's certainly an option. So hopefully that helped you out. If, if it did, I, I would appreciate a like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Comments would be more than welcome down below. I've got some additional notes down there. If you missed any of the on-screen information, that should be able to look at the, the description and go through the notes there and do the install. And I've got some links in there that will take you to the sites for downloading and walk you through the installation. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.